Hello everyone, this is Bobo the Vulture, and this is more Let's Play Gran Turismo 2. Um, as you recall from last time, we just finished getting the A-Class National License, Regional License, Non-International License, whatever you want to call it. Um, I guess in amateur racing in the U.S., you end up having... Uh, guys that compete in the SCCA Regionals, and then guys that compete in the SCCA Nationals. Then there's also the NASA, the National Auto Sport Association, not to be confused with the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Anyways, got a new license. Now the question is, do I take these little amateur level law uh, honors and uh, start going out and winning some laurels and doing some races. I'll tell you actually the first thing I do is go into... Oh never mind, they don't have it there. Gonna have to go out to the main menu, folks. into options. View settings, global options. I think it's Chase 2 is the one I'm looking for. And... Wait a second. Okay, I got it now. I think I got it. Now, you know, while I'm still feeling them, maybe I should attempt to continue on with these uh, license challenges because uh, they're like a chore. They're like your vegetables, folks. You get these taken care of, you can go out and have fun. Advanced cornering. Multiple corners, multiple blind corners. Interestingly enough, looking at all of these, I don't think any of these circuits make appearances in future Gran Turismo games. It is possible Midfield Raceway does, or the Seattle Street Circuit does. I'm pretty sure the Rome Street Circuit doesn't, and Red Rock Valley never does. Because I remember really liking the Red Rock Valley Circuit. I mean, it's a made-up circuit. It doesn't really exist out there. At this point in time, they were not replicating... Let's see here. This corner appears to be easy as you enter it, but the more you drive into it, the more it bends, so it's a very difficult corner. Steering inward at the start makes the end of the corner difficult, so the apex has to be farther out than usual. They call it a J-turn. To me, that describes a move done in stunt driving. What it actually is, is an increasing radius turn, and you can see. D rights! You can see you have D rights. You have D rights to be upset with me at this point for failing. Let's see. Did we manage to get through in enough time? Nope. Fail. All right. So we're a failure. What of it? We can do it again. I believe in future games they will uh, streamline this process so that. Um, They'll streamline this process so that uh, you can replay things quickly if you so need. And there'll be an option for, like, next test instead of having to come up here and flip this. 
Advanced corner, J turn two. This is a tough corner. Oh, it's basically uh, the same corner, except in a more powerful rear wheel drive car. It's too bad. Miata, not a super powerful car, but uh, they're lots of fun. I drove a Miata very similar to that one, except it didn't say D rides on it. Um. I was close to a silver prize there. This is also D rights. I have no idea what D rights is all about here, folks. This episode of licensing test brought to you by D rights. This is a U-shaped double turn corner. Ah, double apexer. As you enter, steer to steady the car's motion and cleanly pass through the two apexes and accelerate out of the second turn. To score a good time, you just accelerate hard out of the second turn. That's alright, I'm in a Camaro. If there's one thing that they should be able to do, it is accelerate hard. It's a high red line for a big ol' American V8. That really shouldn't have made it. But it did. So I'm not gonna fuss and feud about it. Of course, layout is the same. This is a blind corner that's hard to read. Use your intuition to find the best position. Oh, so like the, uh, the wall is going to be moved closer. There's another thing about street racing. There are walls everywhere, so you can't see what's going on. Oh yeah, that was pretty. It's not enough for a gold prize, but it was pretty. It's enough for a silver prize, I'll accept it. And I'm sure there are people watching at home saying that was not pretty at all. This is a practical cornering test, which is part of an actual race course. It's not an actual race course, folks. If there is such this place as this Red Rock Valley racetrack, tell me where it is. I'd like to go visit it sometime. It actually seems like it would be a nice place to uh, check out an event. This is a practical cornering test, which is part of an actual rig. There are several corners in a row. The key is to accelerate hard out of the last corner. Be careful. The car tends to swerve after the left turn at the first chicane. Now, they have yet to explain what a chicane is. A chicane is basically a very small, low-speed, direct like side to side. You know what? I'm not I'm just gonna yeah, I'm just gonna back out. I didn't see a chicane in there at all. Car tends to swerve after the left turn at the first chicane. Yeah, I guess the car did swerve there a little bit, didn't it? That was not a bad little bronze prize. That was a nice little C. That was a nice little set of switching around there. It's a pleasant bit of track to go through. I'm basically, I've basically lost all of my memory of how the Red Rock Valley race course goes. I remember how, like, the high speed ring and all those tracks, um, from Gran Tur and some of those tracks from Gran Turismo 1 go, because they get called back. Uh oh, what's the difference this time? Do we have to do more? We do have to do more. We did enough. See, it's a cool, it's a cool little setup here. It's so cool. 
Alright, let's take that. Of that. Another record for me. Thank you. Midfield Raceway. This one, I think, maybe gets replayed later on. I forget, though. I, re I forget the, what the names of one to another are sometimes. This is the hardest section of Midfield Raceway with a hairpin after a fast chicane. After exiting the chicane, you must start braking while steering to the right. Break hard enough to avoid entering the outer part of the hairpin. Those words all mean something. And I know what they mean. I'm just, for whatever reason, I'm just like, eh, just let me try it out. Hey, it's enough for bronze prize. I remember this course now. This is an interesting course. It has, yeah, it has one or two little tricky sections to it, but a lot of it is, you know, sort of you get into a rhythm with it. Exiting the first chicane, cut toward the right edge to stay along the right side of the course. Use steering to correct any swerving, and brake till you enter the hairpin in the correct position, then quickly accelerate out of the turn at the right moment. Ah, it's the same section, but now I'm in an S2000. So, rear-wheel drive. These are kind of cool cars, too. Hey, I did it. actually going far better than I thought it would. This is a fast, blind section from the Rome City course. Careful! It's easy to misjudge your car's correct position and direction. Timing of the turn in at the right corner is crucial. Exit at full throttle, especially from the last left corner. And an Alfa Romeo. What do you know? It's appropriate. It's appropriate. It's the Roma circuit in the Alfa Romeo. Here we go! I friggin' hate the Rome circuit. I tend to not like city courses in Gran Turismo games just because they're like one turn after another after another and you never really get a chance to open the car up. But, um... Hey, I won anyways. And they're just not as visually interesting to me. This is a Seattle... This is a Seattle courses section, full of streets with many ups and downs. It is a complex course, but just drive as if you are making a smooth circle. Use the road's wide width to raise your average speed. Don't let the walls scare you. Oh, in Seattle, I think they use it a couple of different other Gran Turismo games, because I sort of know the Seattle circuit. Of course, I don't know what part we're on here. Alright, this part. And now there's going to be a right turn here. Well, that wasn't very good. Finish. Finish with failure. The best part of waking up is failures in your cup. It's okay. Give it another go right away. There we go. 
Another one bites the dust. And another one going, and another one going. Was that the last? Hey, that was! I see, license acquired. I see, I see, I see. Let's go ahead and overwrite this one. And again, another short one. But as I say, I'm just getting the licenses, folks. If you want to, you can wait until later and just piece these all together in a playlist. The licensing tests. It'll be okay, guys. And, you know, uh, maybe maybe they'll get longer in the future. I, I, B, and I, A. I, A, if as I remember correctly, had a lot of pretty difficult uh, challenges. Because the fastest cars in this game, significantly faster than the fastest cars in the previous game. Um, but anyways, we'll find all about that, find out about all that later. For right now, though, uh, I'm Bobo the Vulture. This is uh, Let's Play Gran Turismo 2. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye now.